Good afternoon. A local pediatric surgeon went before a judge for the first time this afternoon on child pornography charges. And the allegations have patients and parents concerned in the hospital where he worked answering questions. Here's News 13's Madeline Schmidt. Yeah, well, Kim, neighbors I spoke with today were equally as shocked, making them wonder about letting their children and grandchildren play outside in the past. It's something that nobody wants to hear. This Foothills community is learning about neighbor 63-year-old Guy Rosenschein, pediatric surgeon and pediatric urologist at Presbyterian's main hospital, arrested yesterday on child pornography charges. This predator lives so close. In July, an online chat room reported Rosenshine for posting a child porn image, leading to a raid at his home near Tramway and Indian School. The sheriff's office says deputies were conducting surveillance on the home. That's when a deputy saw a light turn off upstairs. At that point, they knocked on the door, but no one answered. So they forced their way in, breaking the front door window. Inside was Rosenshine and a 16 year old boy wearing only underwear. It's just very sad that that's kind of person is in our neighborhood. Rosenshine claims the teen is a former patient who lives with him on and off and that he's taken the boy on vacations on his private planes and helicopter. Deputies also found a USB in the home containing child porn. Presbyterian is shocked and deeply saddened by these allegations. Rosenshine was immediately fired. At this time we have no reason to believe that anything occurred on any of our facilities or in our clinics. In court today, a judge said she's worried the pilot and dual citizen of France could flee. But with no criminal history, she ordered he'll only need a thousand dollars cash to get out of jail. Presbyterian has set up a phone line specifically for patients and their family members to call with concerns. They say they have received a few calls so far. We do have that phone number on KRQE.com. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now we wanted to know if the doctor is investigate, being investigated for the half-naked teen he had in his house. BCSO says it can't elaborate on details of the case because the feds are considering taking it over.